even if Donald Trump is forced to resign and sent to prison, even if he confesses to every crime HES ever committed, it's a given that Fox News host Sean Hannity will be locked in a rubber room somewhere, still defending Trump with every excuse in the book. When the news broke tonight that Trump had tried and failed to fire special counsel Robert Mueller back in June of last year, it happened while Hannity was on the air, and it ended up being the gift that kept on giving. When the New York Times first broke the story, Sean Hannity quickly took the on-air position that it was fake news because Fox News hadn't also confirmed it. So at that point Hannity's premise was that Trump didnt really tried to fire Mueller, and this was all some kind of liberal media conspiracy. But while Hannity was still on the air, Fox News did in fact confirm that Trump tried and failed to fire Mueller, and then suddenly Hannity had an entirely different view. Hannity then frantically tried to reverse positions, arguing that Trump only wanted to fire Mueller because Trump had every right to do so. Of course if that were truly Hannity's position then he would have led with it when the New York Times story broke, instead of trying to argue that the Times story must be false. In so doing, Hannity unwittingly gave away that even he knew the Times story was damning, and that Trump is in severe trouble. Sean Hannity is in such meltdown mode tonight, we're left to wonder what might happen if another shoe drops in the story. If it's reported later tonight that Donald Trump ran over Robert Mueller's mailbox, will Hannity jump on Twitter to first argue that it's not true, and then later argue that Trump had every right to do it? Keep up to date with the latest Palmer Report articles via email. Get the latest content first. Email address update preference as new articles are added daily. Subscribe now. We respect your privacy.